182 years. So we kind of know what we're doing. We're very well known and respected in the U.S. and the world for our programs. We've got um, we have about 14,000 students from 65 different countries, so very diverse internationally. Um, it's, a, it's, it's really a good size of university because it's not too big, it's not too small. Your average class size is about 25 students. That's very important for you because it's important for you to know your professors. It's important for, for the professors to know you. That's going to help you in a, in a few areas. For one is when it comes to internships. You want to do internships when you're at a university. Marshall, that's big at Marshall. We, we, our, our students are doing a lot of internships. Uh, and so it's important for you to, to know your professors so you can do that. Also, professors know companies. They invite the companies to come to campus to interview you for jobs. So, so that's another important reason why you don't want to go to a university that has huge class sizes, 50, 75, 100 in a class. You'll never know your professors. You'll never get these internship opportunities. You, you won't know how to, um, to be prepared to speak with, you know, with major companies that come to campus to interview you as students. So that's why, just keep that in mind as you look at universities in the U.S. I mean, obviously I'd love for you to look at Marshall, but you know, there's 4,500 universities in the U.S. There's a lot to choose from. It's, and I think it can be overwhelming, too, to figure out what university do I go to. So really, it depends on what you're looking for. If Marshall has got great programs from a, from a computer science, engineering standpoint, technology, and business, sciences. It just kind of depends on what you're looking for. Um, the SAT part that I think you're, you're, you're reviewing really plays a part in scholarship amount. We look at GPA and SAT. That will determine your level of scholarship. The highest scholarship for us is $14,000 per year. Our tuition is about $20,000. So that's a pretty nice scholarship if you get that. Uh, so the range is really from 4,000 at the lowest to a high of 14. Again, purely based on SAT and GPA. So um, are, are you all students looking to be a, to come for an undergraduate program, or are there any master's seeking students here? Undergraduate, undergraduate. 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 I just want to make sure that I, I don't want to talk about master's stuff if it's not even happening. So for us, um, for the entry requirement standpoint, so we need on, on a four scale, at least a 2.5 on a four scale. So um, I've talked to a lot of students and it just depends on what your scales are. And some students have O levels and A levels and all of these things. So um, just so you know, for us, it's a 2.5 on a four scale. Uh, so it's gonna be, um, a C in the U.S. is a 2.0 on, on, on a four scale. So you're going to be a B minus C plus area for admission to Marshall. We also, um, an SAT is not required, but an SAT is going to really help you from a, from a scholarship standpoint. That's going to drive your dollars. So, and everybody wants dollars. Um, so we also will need an IELTS or a total, some English-related uh, score so we know about your English level. I've talked to a lot of students here, and I have encountered, I've, I've encountered all ranges of English ability. So that's what we need to know your ability. So we need at least an IELTS of 5.5 to be eligible for entry in March. I think that's very achievable for you. Uh, for the scholarship level, you, you would need an IELTS of 6 still achievable. Um, so it's, you know, that's really, those are the main things we look at. We don't require you to write an essay about how, how, how wonderful you are. A lot of universities re will require an, an, an essay of some sort. We think that's a waste of your time because that's so subjective for, for whomever is reading the essays. We look at your grades. That's going to be the best reflection of you at the university. Not an essay that says, you know, I love flowers and I want to do this. No. Your grades.
rate of the best reflection of you. That's going to, that's, that tells us how, how you're going to be at the university. So from what I understand already about you, because I, I, I had to get a quick download on you before I came in here, sound like you all had, had very good grades, so I've been talking a lot. You all have very good grades. So I feel like you all would be admitted to Marshall. There's no application fee for Marshall if you work with the team here. I waive the application fee. Team trying to save you money already. So because you know that's just not important to us. You know we want to make it as easy as possible for students. So all we all we really require are your transcripts from your high school, uh, a diploma, or I guess whatever you get that shows you graduated, your IELTS score or total, um, and. If you have an SAT, great. If not, don't worry about it. And a copy of your passport ID. That's it. We don't need letters of reference. We don't need a personal statement. A lot of universities require all these hoops you have to jump through. We just don't think that's necessary because, you know, why should I say, okay, if these two people apply have the same grades, I'm going to choose their essay to say, well, they should be admitted when they both qualify. So Marshall just thinks, I feel we think rationally about things. So we just don't require you to, to do a lot of things like that when the core to what universities look at are your grades. That's how you're going to perform at the university. So that's what we believe in. But so again, we have engineering, computer science, technology, the science of if you want to go into medicine, um, business if you want to go into the, that area. So we're very diverse in what we we, we, we offer the student. Uh, I know I don't have much time. Do you all have any questions from somebody from the U.S.? Uh, we're about in uh, United States of America is Marshall University. So we're in Huntington, West Virginia. So um, the city is probably about a hundred thousand people much smaller than Dhaka. You definitely don't have the, the traffic you have. Oh, that's great. Yes, it is. So, I mean, it's really, it's a good size community uh, for anyone that is going to tr transition from anywhere in the world to a major U.S. university. Very important. Because, um, you know, like, you won't feel secure. It's, it's a very safe campus. It's a very friendly campus. You walk to class. Students say hi. You know, you don't even know who they are. People are genuinely friendly there. So from a climate standpoint, during the summer, about 30 degrees Celsius. That's not as hot as it gets here, I don't think. Yeah. Uh, in the wintertime, it'll be plus five. Occasionally down to zero, we may have a little snow, but that's winter in the US. It's not as cold as it gets in Chicago, New York, Boston, up north. So you don't have to worry about that. But you know, one thing. I help students prepare for your visa here. That's one thing I do. Because I know that's the last hurdle you have before you come to the U.S. is for your interview. And that's the most important thing, because it lasts 90 seconds. Pretty quick interview. It's not like the conversation that we're having. So I go to the embassies, and I talk to them, and I know what they look for. So I'm going to share that kind of information with you to help you be successful in your 90-second interview. But I, I just, I feel that we, you know, we have a lot of students, obviously, internationally. They've all gotten their visas. I've, I probably have helped the majority of them. There is no correlation between what would be helping you and you being at the university. I'd like to think it helps some, but it's all on you. It's how you interview. You've got to be confident in your interview. That is important. Because if the consular asks you, you know, why did you choose the U.S.? And you just kind of look down, well, you know, I, it's got the best education system. You know, they want you to look them in the eye and say confidently, yeah, I chose the U.S. because you've got the best education system in the world. And I want to come back to DACA with my degree in engineering, and I'm going to work for blank. Now, even if your goal is to stay in the U.S. and work, that's okay. But you don't you don't say that in your thesis because then you'll you'll get you'll get refused. <laughs> the consular's 
plan, or what their goal is, is to screen out those students that aren't serious. Because there are, unfortunately, some students that want to try to get into a university and then immigrate and never come to campus. That is bad. Because you, you need to pay your fees for your first semester before you leave here. So that you will not get blocked in immigration when you enter the US and sent back to DACA. Just, just a little tip, okay? Because we don't want students to <coughs> spend that money to fly to the US and then to just turn around and come back home. Not good. So we help you through all of that. Thus, that's why I say that I'll help prepare you for your big piece interview. The team here would tell me when your interview is, give you my WhatsApp number, uh, we'll text, and then I'll say, okay, I'll call you on, at 9 a.m. on this day, and then I'll help prepare you. So it's very, very important. Um, the process for Marshall, for example, is all you need to do is provide your your information to the team here, and they can apply. They have a direct portal to our application system. That's why there's no application fee. So then, within three to five days, you'll get an offer back saying, congratulations, you've been admitted to Marshall. You don't have to wait weeks and weeks to hear back from the university. We're, we're really quick in doing that. And if you say, OK, I, I want to choose Marshall to come, to come study January 2020, so then uh, you, you pay a $2,000 refundable deposit. It's refundable in case you don't get your visa, but I'm going to try to do everything I can to make you get your visa. So it's a $2,000 refundable deposit that goes towards your tuition. And you also um, you provide bank statements from your sponsor, whomever that is, parent, uncle, whatever. You sign your, your, your acceptance letter. You provide an affidavit of support from your sponsor. Provide that, we send you an I-20. The I-20 is the immigration document you have to have for your visa. So then at that point, team here will help schedule your interview. You tell me when your interview is, or they will, and then I'll call you and help prepare you. Then once you get your visa, we'll tell you when you need to land in the US uh, at, the, at the airport that's near our campus. We will pick you up at the airport, <coughs> bring you back to campus. We'll get you moved, you'll be met at the airport by students. So you won't see me, you want to see student spaces. So they'll be there to help you, they'll, they'll reach you. They'll bring you back to campus, help get you moved into your dorm and your accommodations, take you on a tour of campus, take you on a tour of the city. So you really acclimate quickly because we know you're far away from home. We want to make it as easy and comfortable for you as possible. So that's kind of the process. So, uh, I mean, so, so really, we have three intakes a year: January, May, August. We're still accepting apps for August if you're interested. Uh, if not, January is the next, and then the next after that is May. So, that's the process. Again, it's 4,500 universities, so they do it differently. It's more complicated. We should try to streamline it and make it easier students. Um, what other questions? You've got somebody from the U.S. standing here. Uh, can, I can help you. Can you tell me something about the, uh, the campus in university? Campus Sorry? campus life in university. Campus life, okay. So, for example, at Marshall, we are, if you understand sports, we're yeah. NCAA Division <coughs> One Athletic <coughs> University, which means all of our sports are at the highest level in the U.S. So there's a lot of athletics that happen for students, I mean, for students to go watch. There's a lot of, there's over you know, 200 clubs and organizations on campus, depending on what your interests are to do that. And we have a great international club. Um, there's, I mean, there's great restaurants. There's probably within, to walk to downtown, 10 minute walk, very easy. So uh, there's not, so there's pubs, I know you all don't drink beer or anything like that, so but if you did, there's pubs that are there and restaurants and just places you can go and hang out, great coffee shops as well. So students can work part-time on campus up to 20 hours a week. You're allowed to do that by your visa. So students work in my office in International. They work in Starbucks that's on campus. I'm sure you've heard of Starbucks. So if you like free coffee or tea, you can work there. 
Um, you, there's, there's lots of restaurants on campus. There's a great athletic center. So if you want to, you know, at, the, at, at that place you can swim and work out with weights, all that kind of stuff. So there's lots of job opportunities for students. You'll make between $400, $500 a month. That's not too bad for some spending money to go to the mall or do whatever you want to do with it. So there's opportunities there, yes? Um, so does Marshall help with um, living costs, like foreign living costs, apart from the tuition? Do they help with living costs? And is there an entry scholarship, entrance scholarship? So again, I, so from a scholarship standpoint, the, it's all going to depend on your, your SAT and your your grades from your high school. We look at that. That will be your your scholarship. We don't have a scholarship off of your your, your living expenses. It's just they'll, they'll say you, tuition you, you, fees. The so, scholarship. So the scholarship will reduce your tuition fees. So again, tuition is about twenty thousand dollars a year. So if you, depending on SAT and GPA, you can get fourteen thousand up to fourteen thousand removed from that, which is a nice scholarship. All based on your grades. It's how how well you do here, and your grades will will be will reflect and determine your scholarship. That can reduce your all of your overall fees. So, so yes, you know, working part time on campus to get four or five hundred dollars a month. Obviously, that's not used to pay for your fees because you've already paid them before you started the semester. But it can help help defray other costs you may have or to have some spending money on campus. So we don't have a scholarship for your living costs. Because the, the, the dorms are right in the heart of campus, so your meal plan is included, so you just you go into one of the many cafeterias, swipe your student ID, and eat as much as you want. <laughs> however much you want. So it's just, you know, that's up to you. We, the, the food is not just U.S. food like pizza and burgers. I mean, it's international cuisine as well. No, um, I'm sorry. I'm asking. So, if we stay in the dorm or the cafeteria, is there like another payment for that? An extra payment, or is it like just? Okay, gotcha. So you have so your you have living costs. So to live in a dorm and your food is about fourteen thousand dollars per year for all of that, and that's all the food you can eat and your dorm. Your tuition is twenty thousand. Okay, so then there's about a nine, one thousand nine hundred dollar roughly uh, fee for your your insurance. So there's medical insurance in case you get sick or injured. Obviously, you want to be covered for that. Those are your main costs. Um, so I mean, I understand that an, an education in the U.S. is expensive. I get it. I'm not hiding that. Uh, but compared to other universities, we are probably one of the more affordable universities in that. So we are ranked number 14. Um, we are the, we're just ranked number 14 public university in the southern U.S. Depending on your programs, we're ranked number one in forensic science. We're ranked number 117 out of 4,500 in engineering, computer science. So each program kind of has its own ranking. So just um, just keep all of that in mind as you examine you know, what university is going to fit you the best, what size school, what size class size is important. All of those things you need to look at as you evaluate your university options. When can we apply? Um, Soon. Before you leave here today if you want. It's very easy. I mean, you know, if you, you can apply, if, let's say if you want to start in August. And, you know, I would say as soon as you can to provide your transcripts, and I'll have your IELTS, and your, if, if you have an SAT, great, don't worry about it if you don't. Um, those key things, they scan it, they upload it to Marshall's application process. Early next week, you'll have the offer. Uh, you, uh, you mentioned there was uh, something about swimming and extracurricular activities uh, like gym and like anything related to music. Well, we have a great music department. So, yeah, there's we even have a major in music. If, if students choose that, so we have uh, you know concerts and orchestras and stuff come into the area for concerts, you know, for, for you to, to enjoy as well. Theater, all of that is, is there at Marshall. Um, 
So again, it's a smaller city than what you're used to here, but there is a lot to do um, for, for students depending on how engaged you want to be on campus. We encourage that, but that's going to look great on your CV, which in turn, you know, you get great jobs. Is anybody here just interested in computers and uh, engineering or anything? Yeah, I'm engineer, engineering, engineering. But I'm telling you, it's interesting because of because you know Marshall is 182 years young. We 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 know companies. So in the engineering computer science school, 100% uh, of our students are graduating with jobs. 100%. Because we are so well known from from that perspective, our uh, business school, we have. Uh, for example, the CEO of Intuit, a huge financial software company, graduated from Marshall. He just gave Marshall $25 million. But he's involved in, you know, doing internships at his company. He also hires students for that. I mean, so every every school, depending on what you do, you, you do, we we are, we have great connections with. Marshall is big on internships, huge on internships. You will do internships while you are study. These are unpaid internships. The value is what's on your CV. So let's say an experience. Just, hmm? an experience. Experience. Because let's say, for example, students in, in the engineering school, they have done internships at Toyota, oh. Tesla, Disney, for example. Are there internships in NASA? I <laughs> yes. As a matter of fact, I have a slide that's on a PowerPoint I do. And, and NASA is one of those those icons I have yes. because we your your faculty advisor will work with you to find the best company that fits your career goals and plans because we know the value of, of internships. So, uh, as a matter of fact, Disney and Tesla were there in May and hired all of our students that were graduating in safety technology as part of the engineering school. Every student. Because we are we're very well known and respected for our programs, so just a lot of opportunity for students. But the internships really make you market, and that's what you want. You want to get that practical experience because those internships, those companies will will remember you as an intern. They remember those that do a great job. They'll say, "I'm going to hire you when you graduate." That's sweet. That's great. That's what you want. I mean, most of these students have multiple job offers when they graduate. So it's great to have a couple options. Amazon, Toyota, I'm not sure which way I want to go. <laughs> Who's going to offer me more money? I mean, that's great. Amazon is located a kilometer from campus. So you know, we just have great relationships with these firms that are going to be great for you as internships, depending on what your major is. Obviously, if you want medicine, you won't work with Toyota. But you know, you, we have a connections of the, depending on what your interests are. And I major in astrophysics. Astrophysics, not at Marshall, unfortunately. What we, physics? We, physics. We we have that. We have engineering. So I mean, but you know, it just depends on what you're looking for. Obviously, um, you know, I'm sure I, I I won't have every major that you all are looking for, but I'm going to have something close to it. Depends on what you're looking for, but um, anyway, any other things about Marshall or study in the U.S. or my English? Anything? <laughs> <laughs>